Striker time. Go with the flow. In a spin, if you can't move to this, then you probably are dead. So wave your hands in the air. Bust through the moves, run your finger through your hair. This is it. For a winner, dance to this and you're gonna get thinner. Move, slide your rump just for a minute. Let's all do the bump. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah. You can't touch this. Break it down. A ripping start to the KFC Big Bash tournament for the Strikers, with spinners Johan Bota and Saeed Ajmal combining beautifully, each going for less than six and over from their four overs, whilst taking a wicket each to help restrict the Scorchers to six for 162. The target of 163 would be a tough one, but Phil Hughes was outstanding, making 74 from just 48 balls in a man of the match performance. And he was brilliantly supported by Nathan Reardon, whose cameo of 42 off 26 balls included two towering sixes, one reaching 98 metres. Crowd favourite Kyron Pollard returned for his first match of the tournament and started with a bang, belting 48 from just 23 balls, including five fours and three sixes. Callum Ferguson was excellent after a few early wickets, top scoring with 52 off 36, as the strikers made what appeared to be a match winning 8 for 185 from their 20 overs. Kane Richardson was easily the best of the bowlers, taking 1 for 22 from his 4 overs, but unfortunately the Brisbane Heat won a thrilling match with a boundary off the last ball to secure the win. An excellent 60 from Michael Klinger and 46 from Tim Ludeman was magnificently capped off by Nathan Reardon, who blasted 42 from just 20 balls, as the strikers amassed 177, setting the Thunder an imposing total. Playing his first match of the tournament, Sean Tate took 3 for 22, Kane Richardson cleaned up the tail and took 3 for 9, while Cam Boyce chipped in with two wickets of his own. The Thunder were bowled out for just 126, giving the Strikers the first win of the tournament for a team batting first. Playing against Sydney's other side, the Sixers, Sean Tate continued his good form, taking 2 for 13, as the Strikers restricted the defending champions to 6 for 135 from their 20 overs. That competitive target was made to look second rate as Michael Klinger made another half century, but the man of the match performance went to keeper Tim Ludeman, who smashed an unbeaten 71 off just 43 balls to help the strikers to a nine wicket win. Sean Tate took another two wickets for the strikers while Johan Boter was at his economical best, conceding just 26 runs from his four overs whilst managing one wicket. But the Melbourne Stars still set the strikers 176 to win, and it was just enough with the home side falling eight runs short, despite the best efforts of the big hitting Karen Pollard. Playing at Etihad Stadium, the Melbourne Renegades made a competitive 6 for 155. Johan Boter gave nothing away, taking 1 for 17 off his maximum of 4 overs, while left armour Brad Young grabbed another couple himself. But on a slow deck, the strikers never looked comfortable. Boter top scoring with 31 off as many balls, while Klinger made 24. But it was a struggle, with the side dismissed for just 107. It's a wonderful stroke. This one, he's got all of it. He will clear the fence. That's what they need. Michael Klinger's excellent form continued. His unbeaten 71 anchoring the innings and his third half century in five innings. Contributions too from Callum Ferguson and Nathan Reardon, while Johan Boter's three fours off the final three deliveries were superb. The strikers setting the Hurricanes 163 to win, 
Cam Boyce was the match winner with the ball taking three wickets. He was well supported by the frugal Johan Bota, but the major highlight of the match came from Kane Richardson who took one of the catches of the summer. Arguably the most forgettable match of the tournament. The Scorchers set an imposing total of 4 for 189, with Brad Young the most economical taking 1 for 28 from his four overs, while Kane Richardson chipped in with two wickets. It, it proved far too many for the strikers, as the innings never really got going. Richardson the best with a bat, making 20, while Johan Bota made 17. In an otherwise disappointing batting display, the strikers all out for 91.